Charlie, what do you think? And there's Mama. Does Ma what, Shadow? Mm -hmm. Is her name Shadow? Here's Mama Shadow and all her little sweet babies. And Uncle Charlie. Yeah. All right, so we're going to take this little stinker pot right here because it's time for them to start having a home. And we've got a new baby coming to the homestead. Okay, Miss Lou in Cherokee. Cat is... Waysha. Waysha. Mm -hmm. Now, some folks say Waysha. Is it a different thing? But you, we, you Wesha. do everything. Yeah. It's Waysha. Mm -hmm. Yes. Say hello. So, we've named her Miss Lou Bell. After me. Don't know where we got that idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's put her in the cage. All right, we're ready to go. Oh, you ready great. to ride the chair, Halo? You ready to ride the chair, Halo? Okay, folks, we are the next day here on the farm. We have Miss Lou Bell home. I would have filmed last night, but we were just so dog tired. <laughs> the walk was great in North Carolina. That's where we were. We have a video coming up on that. It was a great experience. Wonderful turnout, and thank you for supporting the Cherokee language. I do have a little Miss Waysha. That's cat in Cherokee, as we told you before here on the farm, in the house, actually. She's gonna be an indoor cat, okay? And she's itty bitty, tiny, tiny. So she's gonna be going to the vet and we're gonna be doing all the appropriate things with her as you should do with all of your animals, but how are we introducing her in the house? It's a slow process and something you need to consider. Somebody is pooped out. <laughs> okay guys, we have her here in our bathroom and uh, this is the way that I've always introduced small cats or cats in general to the home, okay? If you have other cats especially, it's very critical that you do a slow introduction to them. So obviously you have to consider what's best for you, your house, your property. You know, these animals can, can depending on you know their age and whatever, can cause damage to certain things, scratching or whatever. This has not been a problem here. We have her in the bathroom. Now my house only has one bathroom because it's an old farmhouse. So this is what we're working with. So she has her bedding and her litter box. And yes, I will mop and sweep later. We've got a kitten in the house. It'll be all right for another day or two. But what you wanna do is you wanna bring them into this type of environment because you want them to be able to be heard and to be able to be sniffed at and whatnot through the door, but the other animals can't get to her, especially the older cats. So we're gonna have her in here for probably a couple of weeks okay we're going to take her to the vet she's going to get a bath this afternoon just with some plain dawn dish soap i haven't detected any problems on her we didn't we don't think that's the situation but just a nice little bath she's doing really well with the litter box 
She has her food and her water, and she loves to snuggle. She's already bonding with all of us. So we wanted to show you our newest addition to the farm. And she's so tired, y'all. She's so pooped out. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have some fun footage of this sweetheart coming in the next few weeks as she, as she grows. And we just appreciate you all the time watching and uh, supporting our channel here at Appalachia's Homestead. We will see you on the next video.